Hi boys and girls, how are you today? I was looking at this beautiful bird and I thought there would be a good idea today to do some art that we can share with our friends and family. So if you can challenge your family and everybody can sit down around the table sometime today or tonight or during the weekend to do a piece of art, which is very easy to do, but you can bring it to somebody's home, just leave it at the porch and when they receive it, they will have some spring at their home. We're going to be doing cherry blossom, which is my favorite thing in the world. I love the pink flowers and I love how they look. So what are we going to need for this activity? You're going to need a large piece of white paper, two plates, which I like to cover in plastic so I don't rub my plates with the paint, paint brushes, paint. For this activity, you're only going to need all black or brown, pink and white paint. Also, we're going to be using a plastic bottle because we're going to be using the bottom part. So make sure you bottle have this flower kind of uh, pattern in the bottom and a marker or a pencil. Before we begin, I'm going to teach you a little song. Are you ready? Great. Spring is here. Spring is here. Goodbye, snow. Flowers grow, birds and bees and leaves and trees. Hello, spring. Hello, spring. Hello, spring. Very good. I hope you can sing that song with your family. Boys and girls, let's begin. What are you going to do? You're going to get your marker or your pen and you're going to draw a branch. Only one branch. And the best part it is that you are going to be writing letter Y. And that's how I like to explain to my kindergarten students how to do it. So I make a line from one end to the other in a diagonal way. And then I do, you see here, that's a letter Y. Then I made another Y and another Y. And I'm going to make another letter Y here. And then another one. You don't need a lot of branches, just a couple. So there you have the first part for your art project. Next step, you're going to get your plate and you're going to choose all brown or black paint. I like to do a black because I like how the pink then looks more vibrant. So I'm going to shake, shake, shake. I'm just going to use a little bit. Always close your paint. And I'm going to use a paintbrush. I like to use something that is not too thick or not too thin. So this one here will work perfectly. However, I think I would like to use this one. It's more pointy. And what you're going to do, you're going to trace your branch. The beautiful thing is, boys and girls, it doesn't have to be a straight line because you know what? Branches are not totally straight. And you can do as many as you want of your lines. I like to do this art, you know, during Mother's Day. And I love to give it to my mom or to my grandmother when I was a little girl. And also, I make it with my students sometimes. And it's an easy activity to make for mom, but it's so beautiful and meaningful. Because cherry blossom are a sign of spring and also a sign of hope. A new beginning and new things beautiful will happen. And then we have it. Just gonna put a little bit more paint in this one. I love to paint. Do you like to paint? I know that in my class I have one little girl and she loves to paint. And I have another friend. Her name is Diana and she loves to 
be creative and she loved to use a lot of colors for her painting. Once you have this already done, you're gonna let it dry a little bit. Just like that. And then you're gonna prepare your pink paint. So I'm gonna put this one a little bit on the front and we're gonna prepare the pink. So for this one, there we go. I'm gonna put pink and white because I want the pink to be light. I don't want it to be super dark because pink uh, blood, uh, cherry blossom, they have a very light pink flower. So I'm mixing my paint. And I think for this one, I'm gonna put a little bit more of a white. If you like it a lot pink, you can do pink. Also, you can do with yellow flowers. So you can do yellow or pink. But because I'm doing a cherry blossom, I love to do mine with light pink. All right. You're gonna need some paper towels also, because you're gonna be needing something to dump and take a little bit of the paint. So what you do, you just put your bottle on your paint and then voila we are going to be creating our cherry blossom paint and i like to put lots of pink flowers everywhere thank you i got it that not the paper that i need it If you don't have a bottle, what I want you to do, if mommy and dad said that's okay, you can use your fingers. So I'm gonna show you how you can use your fingers. So I'm gonna put my bottle beside me. And what you're going to do, you're just gonna grab one finger, your pointer, and then you're just gonna go around. So don't worry if you don't have a plastic bottle not a big problem and then you're gonna do your beautiful cherry blossom I'm gonna move this closer to me and I'm gonna continue to show you I'm using just a little bit of paint I don't want a lot of paint on it There you go. Do you know what else you need to do after you finish your art? Yes, you sign your name. So I'm gonna do some more because I really like my cherry blossom to have lots and lots of pink flowers. And I'm gonna use the same marker I had before. And I'm going to sign my art. And there you have your cherry blossom painting. So you can do it in many different shapes. You can do it in a long paper. So this one you can cut it in half and do it longer. Or you can do it in any regular side paper. So whatever you have at home. Then I'm going to wait this one to be dry. And actually, I'm going to bring this one and some art that my daughters have been doing. And I'm going to bring it to the senior home near our church in Milton. Because a lot of the grandpas and grandmas in the senior home have no visitors. So we're going to send a little bit of spring on their way. So I want you to, when you do your art, try to think, hmm. Who can be in need of cheering up? And you can bring your art to their place. Boys and girls, you also can bring it to the police station, to the fire station, and to say thank you. So have a beautiful day. Have a beautiful weekend. Create a beautiful art and share with others. Be kind, be respectful, and always 
always love yourself. Bye-bye.